My home. If I were a deer, I would make my home in a forest that's shady and cool. If I were a frog, I'd live by the side of a clear and shimmering pool. If I were a bird, I would build my nest high on the branch of a tree, and a small busy hive would be my home if I were a buzzing bee. If I were a gopher, I'd burrow right down in the earth so snug and deep. And if I were a bear, I'd find a spot in a cave for my winter sleep. If I were a tiger, I'd make my home in a jungle thick with trees. If I were a whale, I'd live in Rome in the depths of the vast blue seas. If I were a cow, I'd live on a farm with hens and hogs and sheep, and a big red barn with sweet-smelling hay would shelter me when I sleep. If I were a horse, I'd live in a stable with a pasture near my door, and if I were a clam, I'd live in the sand on a white and glistening shore. But I'm not a clam or a lamb or a frog or a bird who lives in a tree. And I'm not a horse or a hen or a hog or a little brown gopher. I'm me. I can't live in a cave as some animals can or hide on the branch of a tree. And I can't burrow down in a hole in the ground or live in the depths of the sea. But I could live in a home on top of the hill in a cottage beside the shore. I could live in a house with a big front porch and a garden near my door. I could live in a trailer that moves all about the beautiful countryside. I could live in a houseboat that drifts slowly by on rivers so deep and wide. I could live in a farm, in a house that's small near fields of golden wheat or high in a building that stands so tall on a bustling city street. I could live in a cabin of rustic logs high on a mountain top, or in a bright sunny room that stand behind a quaint little grocery shop. It doesn't matter at all if my home's big or small, if it's brown or yellow or white, it doesn't matter at all if it's narrow or tall or if it's pretty or bright. It doesn't matter at all if my home's on a hill or down by the deep blue sea, as long as it's filled with people I love and people who also love me. The end.